So the impeller and diffuser were designed using our inverse design solver Turbo Design 1. And uh, this is the setup for the baseline pump where these meridional designs and all these different settings, they come from the mean line code, which we saw earlier. And uh, it's also possible to impose your own custom thickness profiles as shown here, which is very important for stress considerations. And uh, the span wise work distribution for both components is pre vortex. So it has a constant value from half to shroud. And uh, as we can see here, the RVT star at the diffuser leading edge is kept the same as the impeller trailing edge. And uh, this automatically ensures a good matching between them. Also, the default floating distribution is four loaded for this baseline impeller. And for the diffuser, it's uh, four loaded at the hub and uh, up loaded at the shroud. And then these inputs return uh, result in this 3D geometry of the two, two components as shown here. So let's have a quick, quick look at uh, how this was done in Turbo Design 1. So you start by importing the impeller file from TD Pre, which uh, brings in your meridional geometry and thickness. Or you can import your own custom thickness profile at the hub and shroud like this. And then for the blade loading, you can add an extra section at the mid span. And then very easily make your baseline case four loaded. And then all that's left is to run the solver. And then you get your first blade design in seconds. And then you can create a 3D plot to check the impeller geometry first. And after which you can also create a 2D plot to study, let's say the surface static pressure at the different span locations. And finally, you have these different performance parameters to evaluate your design. And then next for the diffuser design, you import the diffuser file from TD3 this time. And then the different settings are now replaced by the diffuser and uh, you can give it a custom thickness as well. And then just as for the impeller, you have the diffuser design in seconds. after which you can check your 3D geometry. And then the surface relative velocities, for instance. And then finally, you can visualize the entire pump, including the impeller and diffuser like that. So let's have a look at some results that we get from the inverse design. And uh, here we can see that the impeller diffusion ratio, which is the ratio of maximum surface velocity to the exit velocity is uh, sufficiently low to avoid flow separation. We also have this bow ratio, which is, uh, which is calculated from the wrap angles and dimensions at the leading edge. And it's uh, low value means that the blade is structurally safe. Um, however, when, it, when we look at the blade surface minimum pressure, uh, which is another quantity of interest that inverse design gives us, it's uh, clear that this negative value could possibly result in a cavitation scenario in this baseline impeller. Mm -hmm.